When it comes to epic open world games, no publisher or studio quite manages to reach the heights of Rockstar Games. Whether it's the mean streets of Liberty City or the wide open plains of New Austin, Rockstar has a reputation for crafting intricate, detailed worlds that you can get lost in. And when it comes to sales, Rockstar regularly smashes records, leading it to become one of the most successful developers of all time. But how did Rockstar become an entertainment giant? How did the company that published the Austin Powers games also come to publish Grand Theft Auto? To find out, we have to go back to where it all began, to 1984. See, while Rockstar Games was founded in 1998, the company had its origins in a small developer called Acme Software. Founded by a couple of members of a computer club in Dundee, Scotland, the company changed its name to DMA Design in 1987 and signed a contract with Cynosis to create games for the Commodore 64 and MS-DOS. During this time, DMA developed Lemmings, a hugely successful puzzle game released in 1991. But come 1993, Cynosis was bought and DMA began to release games under a number of different publishers. One of these titles was an open-world action-adventure game released in 1997 that was called Grand Theft Auto. In creating the game, DMA signed a deal with publisher BMG Interactive that gave BMG the rights to the franchise. After it sold millions of copies, BMG was very happy that they had a popular franchise on their hands. But while BMG owned the rights to GTA, DMA would still develop sequels. At this point, a flurry of acquisitions changed the future of every company involved with GTA. In 1997, DMA was bought by publisher Gremlin Interactive. Come 1998, BMG would be bought by Take-Two Interactive, and later that year, BMG changed its name to what is called today Rockstar Games. Rockstar was established as Take-Two's high-end publishing label. But apart from Grand Theft Auto 2, Rockstar's initial games were a far cry from the kind the studio would later be known for. Rockstar published such memorable games as Monster Truck Madness 64, Thrasher Presents Skate and Destroy, Wild Metal, and two awesome power games for the Game Boy Color. Not exactly high quality winners in retrospect. But it wasn't long before some actual good games began to come out. The Smuggler's Run series sold well on the PlayStation 2, and Midnight Club kicked off a racing franchise that is fondly remembered to this day. Then Rockstar partnered with Remedy Entertainment to create the cult favorite shooter Max Payne, which combined graphic novel noir and Hong Kong action to great effect in 2001. While these quality games were being made, Rockstar and Take-Two were busy. Rockstar acquired their first company in 1999 with the creation of Rockstar Canada. Meanwhile, Take-Two purchased DMA Design that same year to ensure that GTA would remain in-house. It was the best decision it ever made because in 2001, it would release the game that would mark Rockstar's place in video game history, Grand Theft Auto 3. It was one of the first major 3D open world games of the sixth console generation and is regularly seen as one of the most important games ever made. It attracted controversy due to its violence and sexual content, which incidentally made it more famous to the public at large. In 2002, DMA Design rebranded to Rockstar North. That same year, Rockstar acquired three new studios, Rockstar Lincoln, Rockstar Vancouver, and Rockstar San Diego. From here, it was off to the races for Rockstar as they made their mark with third-party titles and a huge number of in-studio creations. Grand Theft Auto sequels, Vice City, and San Andreas did remarkably well on the PlayStation 2. The Midnight Club franchise continued to grow in popularity with each sequel. Manhunt caused a stir with its graphic violence in 2003. Rockstar Canada, renamed Rockstar Toronto, created an action game based off the cult movie The Warriors. Rockstar San Diego attempted to make the first big Western video game with Red Dead Revolver, which saw some success. And Rockstar capped off the era that made them famous with 2006's schoolyard adventure game, Bully. Oh, and Rockstar made a table tennis game at one point. No, seriously, that exists. Meanwhile, Rockstar continued to grow by leaps and bounds. Rockstar Vienna was formed in 2003, Rockstar Leeds in 2004, Rockstar London in 2005, and Rockstar New England in 2008. Starting that year, Rockstar began to take a much slower approach to publishing and game development. And since then, five games have defined Rockstar's path. The first of those games was Grand Theft Auto 4, the first major Rockstar title for the seventh console generation. It featured a recreation of Grand Theft Auto 3's Liberty City, only one that was much larger and more detailed. 
It also introduced Nico Bellic, an Eastern European immigrant who would become one of Rockstar's most iconic characters. He likes to go bowling with his cousin. Then there's Red Dead Redemption, the sequel to Red Dead Revolver that finally fulfilled the promise of a great Western video game. Released in 2010, John Marston's quest to reunite with his family by taking down his old gang took the world by storm thanks to the vast recreation of the American West and Mexico. Those two games were both developed in-house. Rockstar's last third-party title, L.A. Noir, was developed by the Australian team Bondi. A detective game set in Los Angeles, it was moderately successful, but accusations of poor working conditions caused Rockstar to end their relationship with the developer. It also marked the transition of Rockstar to developing games only in-house. Rockstar then made Grand Theft Auto V, which made over one billion US dollars in three days and would go on to sell 95 million copies worldwide. By itself, it is the third best-selling video game ever made, surpassed only by Minecraft and Tetris. Rockstar's latest release is Red Dead Redemption 2, the much-anticipated follow-up to Red Dead Redemption. It's only been out for a short time, but it's already made over 700 million US dollars. Even though they develop fewer and fewer games, Rockstar has made an impact few developers could ever hope to achieve. Its open-world games are second to none and have influenced the design of video games all over the world. While the scope and subjects of other games vary, the moment you see the Rockstar logo, you know you're in for a great adventure.